Hi friends, it's Miss Karen and today I'm going to read you a story that's called The Yucky Reptile Alphabet Book. Now a reptile, you can see on the cover, is an animal with dry, scaly skin. And we're gonna learn about reptiles. They're also cold-blooded. That means they need the sun or warmth so that they can get moving. So let's see about the Yucky Reptile Alphabet Book by Jerry Pallotta. And the illustrator that drew the pictures is Ralph Macio. Let's find out what reptiles we have in our book. First, we're gonna start with the letter A. A is for armadillo lizard. When the armadillo lizard is being attacked, it does something really strange. It will wrap itself up in the ball and put its tail in its mouth and it makes it look like a pine cone. So A, armadillo lizard. Then we have B for boa. This is an emerald boa, and they swallow their food whole because they have no teeth. And an anaconda, you may have heard of, is a boa. It's the largest one in the world, and it can be as big as a school bus. That's pretty big. So A, B, next comes C for chameleon. The, C, the chameleon can change colors and they can make their skin match their surroundings. But what's also fun about the chameleon is its very, very long tongue. Its tongue can be as long as its body and it's very good for catching insects. So C, D. D is for diamond terrapin. A terrapin is a turtle, and the diamond terrapin, people call it that because its back looks like a diamond. It reminds them of a diamond shape. Do you see that in the diamond D? Next is E for egg, and these are crocodile eggs. Birds aren't the only ones that lay eggs. So crocodiles lay eggs, and most reptiles are born this way. F is for fan frilled lizard. This is an Australian lizard, and when he wants to scare someone, he fluffs up his frills on his skin. He does look a little scary, doesn't he? So. D, E, F, what comes next? Of course, G. G is Gila, or you might say Gila monster. The Gila monster lives in the desert and it has a fat tail. It stores its food and water in its tail because sometimes it can't find enough to eat or drink. Next comes H for a horned toad. The horned toad is a reptile, but it's not a toad. Since um, it's round, has a short tail, people forget that it's a reptile. But it can squirt blood out of its eyes. That makes it yucky. Then comes I. I is for iguana. Now these are spooky looking reptiles and they make movies with them sometimes. They make them look very large, like a dinosaur. I for iguana. Then comes J. J is for the joint snake. Now this snake is sometimes called a glass snake because it can cut off sections or break off sections of its tail. It's like a legless lizard the joint snake, J. So next comes my favorite letter. Is Karen, I hope I don't look like this, but this is a K, Komodo dragon. The Komodo dragon is the biggest lizard in the world. And it can be bigger and longer than people, K. After K comes L. 
This is a leatherback turtle. It's the largest of our sea turtles. And it travels a lot in the ocean. It likes hot and cold waters. Next is M for the Moloch. Some people call this a mountain devil. Look at him. He's not very pretty, is he? He'd be hard to keep as a pet because he likes to eat ants all day long. So L, M, then comes N for night snake. A night snake, can you see him there? A night snake is nocturnal. That's another N word. And nocturnal means they don't come out during the day. They only come out during the night. Do you see him? The nocturnal N snake. Then, oh, this is a very beautiful turtle. It's called the ornate box turtle. Ornate means beautiful, and they're special because they have hinged shells that can make them close up tightly so nothing can get into their shell. And they're the most beautiful of all the box turtles. So M-N-O-P. P is for pipe snake. A pipe snake is a has a neat way to take care of itself. When an enemy comes to get a pipe snake, he'll curl his head up inside of his body and then he bends his tail, the end of his tail, and it looks like a head. Does that look like a head? <laughs> then comes Q. Q is for queen snake. The queen snake is a water snake and it may have gotten its name because it's a picky eater and it likes fancy food. It only likes to eat the soft-shelled crayfish. Do you see it there? That's Q for queen snake. Then comes the letter R. Ooh, this one. R is for rattlesnake. These snakes make rattle noises by shaking the end of their tails and not Many people like to play with rattlesnakes because they have poisonous fangs in their mouth. Ooh. Next is the letter S. S is for skink. Now look at him. Everyone's heard of a skunk, but how many of you have heard of a skink? So on this page is the blue-tongued skink. And it didn't get its blue tongue by licking blue lollipops. Look at him. <laughs> S for skink. L M N O P Q R S T. T is for Tutara. Now Tutaras were alive when dinosaurs were on the earth and they're different, but they are a lizard. Look at them. Now the letter U. U is for Urutu. Now this is a snake that has a letter U at the beginning of its name. It has a letter U in the middle and it has a letter U at the end of its name. And some people think that the design on the snake looks like the letter U. Utara. Then V. Wonder what V is. Oh, this is an interesting one. V is for vine snake. Look at him. The vine snake's long and thin. It looks like a skinny piece of rope, doesn't it? And it's where's the end of its tail? Oh, there it is. All the way down there. A long vine snake, V. W. W is for whip tail. In some places, almost all the whip tails are female. And when they pick up one of these, they whip their tail back and forth from side to side. So that's how they got their name. W for whip tail. Then comes the letter X. Ooh, 
X is for Zantusia riversiana. What? Oh, what kind of name is that? This scientific name is very difficult. So they prefer to call it an island night lizard. Hmm, that must mean we only see him at night. The letter X. Then Y. Can you guess the Y in this name? This is the yellow-headed gecko. The yellow-headed gecko. I wonder if it would rather be redhead. Hmm. Then what comes after Y? The last letter in the alphabet. And this is, stands for Z for zillions. That means zillions of years ago. Zillion is a big number. Zillions of years ago, they say, reptiles lived on the earth. So that's our letters A to Z for the yucky reptile alphabet book. Now let's play a little game. I have a game. In our story, we heard that there were four kinds of reptiles. Now let's play a game to see if you can guess who they are. So here we have the question, who am I? This reptile has very large teeth. It has a long tail. I live in the swamp, he says, and my name starts with A. Let's see. A, 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 alligator. That's a reptile. I don't think we saw that in our book, but that's a reptile. A, 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 alligator. All right, here's another one. Who am I? I have four legs. I am usually small, but, do you remember this? I can be bigger than a person. I catch my food with my very long tongue. We saw a few of these in the book. My name starts with the letter, let's see, L. Ooh, I am a lizard, lizard, ooh, ooh, lizard. Very good. Did you guess that? All right, who am I? I am long and thin. I use my tongue to smell things. Without this clue, you'll know. I crawl on my belly. My name starts with S S snake. Snake. All right. Good job. And one more. Who am I? I have four legs. I am very slow. I carry my house on my back and my name starts with the letter T. T, -t. Turtle. So those are our reptiles. I hope you enjoyed the story of the yucky reptile. ABC book. So you can go back and look at this again. Why don't you pick out your favorite reptile and draw a picture and tell about it. You could tell about its habitat. That means where it lives. So have fun boys and girls. Bye bye.